Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm glad to have you all here. Uh, let's get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, this may or may not be for you. I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so sometimes I get very specific messages. Only take it if it resonates. So let's see what the story is for someone out there. Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Someone's really heartbroken. Someone's not wanting to let go of someone else. What are they... What's hidden here? What's what is with the moon? What is it that's hidden? The emperor, the five of swords, the eight of pentacles, the seven of wands. Let me see here. Three of Wands, the Knight of Cups. This person's been working on themselves. They've just been waiting for an opening. That's what you haven't seen. And I never want to encourage anyone to wait for somebody that's not taking action towards you. Because that's absolute bullshit. You know, even if someone has a lot on their plate or if they have a lot of work that they need to do on themselves, they can still communicate with you in the process. They can still be having open, honest conversations with you in the process. So don't make excuses for this person. But what I'm seeing, it's almost like they want, um, I feel like this person really wants to impress you. They really want to go all out. So instead of communicating with you and updating you on their progress, it's like they're doing something here and they really want you to be proud of them. So I feel like this person, I am getting something about like counseling for whoever this is for or something. Um, there's some kind of achievement and I kind of feel like maybe they were afraid of jinxing it, like they didn't want to tell you about this because they might have been afraid that, I think they just didn't know what you would say. They might have been worried that you would be angry, that you would put them down, that you wouldn't believe in them, or maybe they just didn't want to have to live up to the expectation. They were worried that they would fail. So I think they kept this hidden from you. I think they actually kept this hidden from a lot of people. But I feel like if this person had like a drug and alcohol addiction or gambling, I feel like they're going to counseling or they're getting some kind of mental help. Um, for others, it's some kind of goal. It could be a financial goal. It's it's something, it couldn't be something about them that, that you pointed out really needed to be changed. Like there could be a really, uh, there, there could be a personality trait or just something that they do, some kind of self-sabotage, some kind of toxic pattern that they have that you've pointed out, other people have pointed out. And I feel like they, they're actually doing the work to change this. I feel like they are working on themselves. But I feel like, again, they didn't want to jinx it. They didn't want to... They didn't want to come in and, and only be halfway there. I feel like this person's a perfectionist. So it's kind of... They, they sort of have this all or nothing mentality. And I, I do feel... Yeah, I do feel like this person's very heartbroken over you. I do think they're holding on to you. I think that they've, I think they recognize that they have to make this change if they want you, and this could be a family member or a friend, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner, but if they want you around, I think they recognized, you might have given them an ultimatum about whatever this toxic trait is or this pattern or addiction, there might have been something there where it's like you gave them some kind of ultimatum. Um, let's see here. Tell me more. Yeah, because they're waiting for the right time. They're waiting. They're, it's like they're waiting for the right opportunity to present this to you. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. What is this? This two of pentacles. They're juggling something. Tell me more about and they're holding on to heartbreak. Tell me more about this energy right here. The hermit. Five of pentacles. The king of wands. For some, I feel like a lot of people left them out in the cold, but I almost feel, especially with them showing up as, as a king of wands, I almost feel like they actually did this to themselves. Like, I mean, they made the choice. I feel like they might have cut toxic people out of their life 
it's like this person went into hermit mode. Maybe there was even toxic third parties like family members or friends that wanted to separate you guys or just uh, they might have had like a best friend because I'm seeing like a best friend that's kind of, um, how, what is this energy? Almost like, it's, it's almost like this best friend is like a wannabe gangster type, but he's not, he's not like a real gangster, you know what I mean? He's just one of those, those little boys that thinks he's all tough, but if he gets in a real fight, he gets beaten up. That's for someone specific, where it's like your, your, your person's best friend is like that, um, and he's cutting this person out of his life, or she's cutting this person out of her life, male or female, just, you know, even if I say it's, it's a him and you know it's a she or vice versa, just take it as it resonates, there's, there's no specific gender here with these readings. This could even be a gay or lesbian relationship as well. So, so yeah, don't get caught up on on the wording of the genders. But anyway, yeah, I'm seeing that for somebody. It's like almost like a wannabe gangster type that this person's cutting out. This person's seeing through them. So for some, I feel like you warn them about someone, like you warn them about a family member or a toxic friend or someone that was just kind of keeping them in a low vibrational state. And I feel like they finally took your advice to heart. They finally, it's like you were trying to point out certain things to them. And they're finally seeing those things for themselves. They're finally listening to you. They're finally recognizing what you were trying to show them. And they're also seeing the good in themselves, the way that you saw them. They're seeing, it's like you believed in this person and they're, they're starting to finally believe in themselves too. So I do see someone that's kind of alone here and isolating and they're leaving people out in the cold. But again, I don't, I don't think that this person's necessarily being abandoned. They might be to some extent, but for the majority of you, I actually get that this King of Wands made this choice himself or herself. They, they made this decision to cut these people out. They made this decision to go into hermit mode and do some soul searching and really just, you know, better their life. I, I feel like this person was not in a good place. I feel like they were very disconnected from their higher self. I feel like they were very lost and I feel like they just kind of hit rock bottom where they're like, you know what, I don't, I don't want this anymore. I don't want these toxic people around me anymore. For some, they might have had a friend that was like enabling their addiction. Like if they, if they drank too much or they um, had like a drug or gambling addiction, I feel like they might have had a friend that was like a, could even be like a drug dealer or something or someone that just kind of um, did those things with them. There wasn't really like a deep friendship there. It was kind of a more like they enabled each other it wasn't um it wasn't solid and i think this person recognized that or he's starting to recognize that and he's starting to cut this person out of his life because he understands that it's it's not a very deep loyal long-term friendship i feel like this person could even borrow money from him too and so he's kind of starting to recognize like okay this is like this person wants to go out and have fun with me but they're not really there when i need someone to talk to it, it's it's very surface level so yeah, they're, they're starting to really make these changes. It's like they're just looking around them and they're like, this is not what I want for myself. This is not where I see myself in five years. They're really kind of waking up. They're taking the blindfold off and they're like, I don't like, I don't like where I'm at. I don't like my job. I'm not happy with my job. I'm not happy with my environment. I'm not happy with the people I live with or work with or the, my, you know, people that I'm close to. I'm not, this is not how I imagined my life when I was younger. This is not how I want my life to be. Um, so, so they really are trying to work on themselves. Tell me more about this. The Tower. Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. King of Cups. Strength. I think the tower moment is that this person does love you because I don't think that you think they love you. I honestly feel like this person, it, it's like you're both kind of heartbroken over each other, but I don't think that you, I don't think you realize that they love you. I think that's going to almost come as a shock to you where it's like, I think that they were just so resistant to change that they really pushed you away, that they, they wanted... It's like, it's like those, those like those memes I see on like social media where it's like the possum or the raccoon that like is in like a trash can. It's like, don't touch my trash. Like they were kind of that little possum or raccoon. Like, don't touch my trash. Don't, don't call me out. Don't try to get rid of my toxic friends or family members. Don't try to, don't, don't force me to make these life changes that I don't want to make. It's uncomfortable, you know? And so I think they really rejected you because of the changes that you were bringing into their life. But I think at this point, you just kind of feel like this is a lost cause, like this person doesn't love you. 
Um, and so I think that you're going to be surprised if you're watching this on behalf of a woman, like if your person's a, a female or in like feminine energy, I think that the surprise is going to be that she's actually a queen of pentacles deep down, which is basically you're going to be surprised that she's actually stable and loyal because you might have seen her as a, um, she might have been more like reckless or like a party girl, like self-destructive. And there's nothing wrong with like going out and partying, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's good to like let off steam, but I mean, she might've done it like overdone it or, or something like that. Or she might've been, um, like you might just be surprised to find out that she does have a stable, loyal side to her. If you're watching this on behalf of a man, I think you're going to be surprised to find out that he is a king of cups deep down where he actually is, uh, more emotional than he let on. He is more romantic than he, than he showed you. Tell me more about this. Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands. Why the world? Maybe you're traveling because I see two cards here that can be about travel. Because sometimes the world can be like a completion and I'm not seeing it that way. I'm seeing, I'm channeling travel from this. Some of you are like traveling or you're, um, you're shifting, you're going, you're in your queen of wands energy more. It's almost like this person wants to stop it and they want to come in with this information. They're like, wait, don't, don't move on. Wait, don't go meet new, wait, wait, don't go meet new people. Like, wait, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Wait, I am working on myself. Hold on, wait, hold up. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, you can't really wait for someone who's not doing anything. They need to actually come forward and, and give you some kind of reason to be patient with them. And they need to also recognize that, like, I don't know, I just, it doesn't sit right with me the way they want to block this for you. Because, you know, you don't let this person isolate you, is I guess what I'm feeling here. Because there's no reason to block it. If you are moving on or if you are like going out and doing stuff more, they can still come forward and say, hey, I'm making these changes. I do love you. I do want, you know, I do want this. I do. I'm going to do right by you. I, they, can, they can really be open and honest and really make the effort and make the commitment to you. But there's no reason you can't travel and, and meet new friends at the same time. You can have all of that. So they shouldn't feel the need to block you here. Yeah, it's almost like they're afraid that if you're victorious, it's, it's like this person, I feel like they're so insecure. And so they're trying to come to you with this really stable, really, it's like they're trying to make the grand gesture. You know, it's like they really need this grand gesture because they're afraid that if they come in with just a little offer that it's not going to be enough. But I honestly think it, it's like they need to communicate, though. This person does need to communicate. Because it almost, it almost feels like this person thinks that if you're successful and victorious, like if you, you know, have this new life or they're afraid of like, they feel like there's so much uncertainty with you where they don't know if you're going to like move to a new location or like be with someone else like next week. Like they don't know what's going on with you anymore. And I think it's making them worry. And I feel like this person's so insecure that it's like they feel like if you're successful, if you're because six of wands is like success, victory. Uh, you know, this person is like, you see them like riding on like a white horse, like they're riding. It's like they've just come home from a battle and it's like they were victorious. They were, they were the winner. Um, and it's almost like this person has such a toxic mentality to some degree that, and I think they're working on it. I do, I do feel like a better energy from this person. I feel like they are actually trying to work on that at least, but don't, um, don't, don't be careful what you allow. Be careful what you allow. Be careful about making excuses for this person. Because it's almost like they feel like if you're victorious, if you're successful, they're so insecure that they feel like if you are in that energy, that you're going to see them differently and you're going to reject them. Like you're not going to want them. Like you're not going to, it's almost like someone that wants to isolate you. They're like, oh, if, if he or she has like a new set of friends, they're going to, they're not going to want me as much. Or if they, if they're traveling and they're doing stuff, they're going to prioritize that over me. Or if they find a new job, that's going to take up all their time and attention. It's like they, they're, comp they're competing over everything for you um, or because of their insecurities. 
they're afraid once they get to the, once you get to this point of, of complete success, victory, accomplishments, you know, meeting your goals, that you're just not going to want them back, that you're going to see them differently, that your perspective will be forever changed. Um, and I guess to an extent, it's kind of sweet that they do feel this like, you know, like that they are starting to value you, that they don't want to lose you. But you also can't allow someone to isolate you like this. This kind of worries me a little bit because it's like they you know, you having new friends or a new job or what, like going out and living your life. That's not, that's not their competition. They're, you know what I mean? Like they're, they've only been blocking themselves by holding back. They are their own competition. This new friend group or whatever you have going on, whatever success you have, whether it's college or it's, it's a new job or whatever, whatever success you got going on in your life, it's, it's not their competition. It's not, they think it's going to create blocks between you two, but it's actually not going to create blocks. It's just going to be, it's like you can have it all. You know what I mean? You can have the successful job and be with this person if you guys want to be together and um, have like good friends. You can have all of that. You know what I mean? So, so don't let this person, don't let them isolate you because of their own insecurities. I just keep, I just keep getting that same message. Do not let them isolate you or block you from any of this um, because of their own insecurities, because of their own fears. You know what I mean? They need, they need to learn. They need to grow up and they need to learn and recognize again that they are their own competition. They are the only thing blocking them from coming forward. They're blocking themselves. It's not your success and whatever you got going on in your life is not a block. I think they also feel like if they come in, any gesture that they have is going to look so small in comparison to the other things you've got going on in your life. So they're really trying to make like the grand gesture to really impress you so that they feel like they're on the same level as these other things you have going on in your life. Maybe some of you just like graduated college or like you just started going to college or something of that sort. Like you have some kind of like new accomplishment or hobby, like something new in your life. Like maybe you just started working out more or like dieting. It's like you're doing something differently where it's like they, they kind of feel like, like, yeah, like it's like a, a competitive kind of energy here. Um, where they just want all your time and attention to themselves. So yeah, watch out for that. Um, because it's it's also it's also just that they need to take accountability. They need to take responsibility for themselves. That's that's part of it too. They can't really be, you know, they can't say, oh, you're going to school now and you're not going to have as much time for them, or oh, you have new friends. I need to. What if these friends are really good and you see them differently? It's like no, you deserve to have that the accomplishment, the career, the the good friendships. You know what I mean? It's like they need to not blame these other things for what they've done. They've isolated themselves from you. They've they've distanced themselves from you. They've hurt you. They've betrayed you. They've probably done, you know, who knows what. But they did that. They can't blame, you know, they they can't blame the good things that you have going on in your life. They they can't just they they they're looking for a scapegoat and they they need to look in the mirror they need to really take accountability and be like no there's there's no threat here i am the one that did this i'm the one that's causing the distance i'm the one that's choosing not to come forward and make a gesture i'm the one that's choosing to to stay in the dark to stay silent and not communicate about you know the counseling i'm getting or the changes i'm making i'm the one that's you know choosing not to talk nine of cups four of swords yeah, it's like they're doing so much work, but it's all behind the scenes. I feel like it's almost going to catch you off guard, too, because it's, it's like they're going to just come in out of nowhere with like, like look like just like a new person or like like with all the, you know, the changes that they've made. But I mean, it's positive overall that they're not. I mean, it's, it's good that they're doing the work. It's not great how they're going about it and just trying to take it all on by themselves. It's like this person is being kind of stubborn. Um... I feel like they might be learning about spirituality too. They might be studying like twin flames and soulmates or like like witchcraft or spirituality or just like spirit like they're they're seeking some kind of a counselor or mentor or like um like higher guidance is what I'm feeling. They might even be joining uh they could be joining like a gym or uh social institutions, like organizations, um 
I'm hearing a coven for somebody. For somebody out there, if your person's a witch, I hear that they're joining a coven, but it seems like it might actually be like a good thing for them. Like they're like they're they're joining um yeah, they're joining some kind of groups here. Yeah, because they're building, yeah, teamwork. They're trying to work with something, with someone. They're trying to help. They're trying to allow the right people to help them build so that they can have stability, so they can have a foundation here with the Ten of Pentacles. So it is a good energy. Um, and they are walking away from toxic people. So, and it's really, it's really good to see too that they're replacing those those toxic people that were holding them back. They're replacing them with new people, new friendships, or they're at least like trying to go out and meet people, or um, they're trying to like find healthier outlets, like healthy, act, like good activities, like things that really pique their interest. Like they're really trying to make some big life changes here. So that's a good thing because, you know, what is what is that quote? Change comes not not from. Uh, or not just from, or not from destroying the old, but on building the new. Because if you just destroy the old foundation, like you just let go of the old habits, the old, you know, like you quit smoking, you quit drinking, you quit doing, you know, all your out, like all your outlets that you had, you just quit everything at once. And, you know, you, you leave all the toxic friendships behind. Then it's like, you have this like void in your heart because you're like, well, like, what do I have now? So you have to replace those things. You can't just, it's like when you cut everybody out, um, you have to like, I mean, sometimes you do have to stay in limbo for a little bit and you have to kind of stay strong and even just be alone for a while until you meet the right people. But at some point you do need new friendships, you know what I mean? So you don't fall back to, and, and message those old people out of loneliness. Or it's like you need, if you're like quitting, you know, drugs or drinking or gambling or whatever you might be doing, it's like you do need to replace it with, you know, hobbies and passions and things where you can, you know, put that energy in, where you get, you know what I mean? Like something that's supportive, something that's just, that's good for you. Because if you're, if you're just leaving those things behind, like those old patterns and, and habits and people, and then it's like, you're just like working and working and working and there's no stimulation in your life, in your life. There's no excitement. There's no love. There's no support. It's like, that's an easy way to eventually fall back to those old patterns. Cause it's like, you have nothing, you know what I mean? So it's, so it's a really beautiful thing that not only are they leaving this stuff behind, but they're, they're aware of the need to, it's like, they know this already. They, they know that when you want to really change that you have to also bring in new energy as you have to, you know, banish the old energy, but it's also about inviting new energy in and not just staying in limbo or staying stagnant so it's a really good thing that they're aware of this they're aware that they need to go out and meet better people that they need new friends that they need counselor or a mentor or a support system um or that they need it, it's like i'm hearing they need like it's like hobbies that they're doing like a, uh, um there might be something with uh what is it it's like kind of like nerdy, but it's very sweet, but it's like a new hobby that they have that they might have just gotten into for someone. But it's like, yeah, it's like they're aware of this energy. So they actually, it does look like they are working towards making long-term changes. Anyway, I'm going to put this out. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this resonates.